Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the craziness. Everyone's so excited. I haven't filmed in a little bit. Uh, before I get into it, let me tell you that uh, I did select the winner for the giveaway. The winner's been contacted. The package has been sent out. I don't want to put their name here, but they know who they are. Um, so congratulations to them. I'm excited for you and you should be there very soon. Um, what else do I have? I am like three subscribers away from 100. I'm amazed, that's exciting. But yeah, so today uh, we're gonna do Ipsy versus Ipsy. I just started this last month on my channel and I thought it was really, really fun so I thought I'd just keep going with it. I got my husband's bag here and my bag right here. Um, this is just my normal beauty profile, neutral makeup, uh, comfortable with makeup, things like that. This one is adventurous makeup, um, I think I had different colored hair, maybe different colored eyes on this one as well. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna open up my bag. All right, so this is what the bag looks like this month. It's just like an orange with like a little yellow tassel. Okay, so let's see. First I'll pull out the card. So it looks like the theme this month is selfie with no filter. The first thing I have in here is a lip balm. So it's called Glow for a Cause. Hmm. It says Lip Love Flirt. I've never heard of this brand. Just judging by the name, it sounds like a cruelty-free kind of name. Um, so let's just go ahead and see what this is. Well, that was my dog burping, if you could hear that. <laughs> It's like a very sweet smell. Hmm. I like it. Just a very, you know, pretty generic, kind of like sheer uh, chapstick, but I do wear chapstick a lot, so I will definitely use that if it's cruelty-free. As always, um, if I'm not sure if an item is cruelty-free, I always put it uh, down below in the description box. So if you do care about that, it'll be down there below. The next thing I'm seeing is this item from Belief. It's just, um, I've gotten this before. I can't remember what I got this in. So I've gotten this item before. Um, it's the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I think it was not cruelty free, which is why I gave it away. I actually just mailed it to the giveaway winner, so uh, I'm not sure about this. So this will probably just go into the next giveaway. Let's see, the next thing I'm seeing in here is from MAC. It's fall, False Lashes in Extreme Black, so I think it's a mascara this item I am NOT going to use because Mac is not cruelty free unfortunately so there's that uh, it's a very very tiny little thing though so not a ton of product in here um, so yeah just a black, black mascara okay let's see the next thing I'm seeing in here is from trust fund beauty this item is vegan and cruelty free it's got the little thing on the back it is a lip Gasm lip gloss. There's that. Okay. Oh, I was expecting like a clear lip gloss, not, and this is like a, it's like red, like a deep, deep red, so that's pretty. Let me go ahead and open this up so we can swatch it. Okay, so it is a gloss for sure. Feels a little sticky. So there it is on my hand, but it does give like a nice tint, so that's cool. I will definitely try this out on days, uh, you know, some days you just don't want to wear lip color, so or lipstick, I should say. So I definitely will give this a go, excited about that. Okay, I have one more thing in here. Uh, this is Lychee and Gold, Healthy Glow Rose Gold Blush. So there's the packaging. Okay, and it says right on the back that it's uh, vegan, gluten-free, GMO-free, and not tested on animals, so that's exciting. Let's see what it looks like. So it's just a, like a shimmery pink kind of blush. I'm actually not going to swatch this, not because I don't like it, uh, but because I have so much blush right now, and I feel like blush is one of those products that it takes a really, really long time to use all of it. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this into a giveaway. I am excited about it. I would definitely love to try it and swatch it for you guys, but personally, I just love to give it another home. So yeah, that's exciting. So overall, the bag for me, I feel like fits my profile pretty well. It's pretty basic stuff, a black mascara, a red lip, you know, a, a pinky blush, and then a, a colorless lip balm, and then a face cream. So overall, I feel like this fits the profile very well. I like this, you know, I like all the stuff in here, minus the two things that aren't cruelty free. So yeah, not a bad bag for my bag. Let's hop into the next bag. Okay. Oh, so this one's got some stuff on the outside right away. So it looks like I have a Juice Up Blackberry mask and a Juice Up Kale mask. So it's just these. It looks like it's some sort of Korean beauty. It's all written in an Asian language on the back. I do really like masks. These feel like uh, sheet masks in here. I can't tell because well, there is some English. Yeah, so it is a sheet mask. I really, really do like sheet masks. I use them probably like every two weeks or so. But with the Korean ones, I can never, it's really hard for me to find out if they're cruelty free. So I'll probably just throw these into a giveaway if I can't find out if they're cruelty free. But I will definitely try to find out for you guys. Okay, so the bag itself is the same bag. I don't know if there was any variations this month on the bag, um, but I got the same one. So let's see. I'm gonna take out the card. So the first thing I'm seeing is from Kaleido Cosmetics. And it is a skin blush in the shade Prom Queen. Prom Queen, guys, all right? And I love the little cruelty. Oh, let me show this to you guys. It's got a little rabbit butt with a heart on it. How cute is that? So it's just a little compact with a mirror, and then it's got a really peach color in it. Again, I'm going to put this to the side for a giveaway. It's funny because the two blushes I got almost look like the blush duo, my Pacifica one that I got last month and is also my favorite blush that I use regularly. So these two colors together remind me a lot of that. So I'm just, since I have very, very similar colors, I'm just going to add this to the giveaway as well. The next thing I'm seeing in here is from Mint Pear and it is leaking. It leaked. So it's a rose hip night serum. So there's that. Since it leaked, I guess I'll open it up. I know nothing about this brand. It says press and turn, and I am. There we go. It has a very strong scent. I'm not sure. What do you do with this? Night serum. I guess it's just like a... Apply daily to renew your youthful skin. So yeah, I guess it's just like the anti-aging stuff that you just wear at night. So I will look into this if it's cruelty free, I will try it out. I would have given it away probably, but it's leaking everywhere. So I'll just keep that for myself. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing in here is something very, very tiny. And it is from Hikari. And this brand I know is cruelty free. I do have like a lip gloss from them. So there's that. It is a cream pigment. Sorry, my cat's drinking water. He's thirsty. Ooh, this looks very similar to the red on my eyes that I'm wearing today from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know if you can see my, I'm closing my eyes like you can see them, but it's, I'm wearing like very red tones today. Um, this looks like the shimmer that I have on top. I'll go ahead and swatch this. This is such a small pan. I think it's magnetic, so I can just throw it into my uh, magnetic palette. So let's go ahead and swatch it. So there it is. It's this top one right here. So it's very shimmery. It's very pigmented. So yeah, that's exciting. I do have a shade very similar to it, but doesn't mean I won't use that one too. It feels very, very nice though. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this other stuff off my hand. And now I look like I, my hand's all red, if you can tell, because I got a red lip gloss and a red eyeshadow. The next thing I'm seeing in here is from, I don't know how you say this, is it Huda Beauty? I've never actually tried anything from Huda Beauty. I think Huda Beauty is cruelty free. I'm fairly certain. So this is a liquid lip 
in the shade Trophy Wife. The packaging is really fun. Like that's it. I didn't even show you what it looked like. But yeah, so it's got these little lips and then this, this guy was just sitting in the middle. So it's a long lasting and comfortable matte liquid lipstick. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Give it a swatch. So it's almost like a mauve pink kind of color, which is right up my alley. I like colors like that. So there it is on my hand. It's very pigmented. It smells like cakey kind of, like bake, bake stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely, I feel like this is full size too. This is pretty big. This is 0.17 fluid ounces. I'm not sure, but that looks full size to me. And I know this brand is fairly expensive, so that's exciting. So let's see, overall, I don't think this bag fits like the bold profile, like the, the lip color is very muted. The blush was pretty, you know, it was a peach, it was pretty basic. Uh, the eyeshadow was pretty bold. It was like that red color, so that fits it. And then I got two skincare things. So overall, I don't think this one fits it as well, but then this one, I have been reviewing products for a long, long time on it. So I feel like when you review, you definitely get products that are more catered to you, at least in my experience. Like, that's what I've noticed. So yeah. So yeah, I think overall, I'm happy with both bags. I'm just giving away three things out of the 10, so that's not bad. That's not bad overall. I'm not sure if I told you in the beginning, but Ipsy is $10 a month, and then you have your booty profile, and then that's how they pick the items they send you. So it's not like a box of charm where everybody gets the same stuff. Uh, everybody gets different things. So that's what I love about it. It's always, you know, it's fun because you never know what you're gonna get. You're, you're never gonna get the same bag as someone else. So you can watch a million different videos on here, and no one will have the same bag. So that's really awesome. But yeah, so that's all I have for today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, more unboxings, more dogs behaving pretty well in the background today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.